I think it. I think if they're talking like <laughs> that's that, crazy. Though, like they they themselves being dark and they're scared of, or they don't want to mix genetics with another darker woman. It sounds like self hate, man. It sounds like self hate. I don't want to duplicate seeing myself in my child at this complexion because I'm not fully happy with myself. It sounds like self hate. I don't know. If you're only choosing a different gender or excuse me, a different race because you're thinking about your kids looking less like you, it just sounds like self-hate. I need them to be mixed with this or this with that. I could be wrong, but it sounds like self-hate. A, a lot of dumb motherfuckers think a white and black person make a, a prettier baby. Stuff like that, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I yeah. I mean, you know, you start thinking about how stupid motherfuckers are, so there you have it. I don't really think that. I think that Listen, I think that that's just a talking point. I don't believe that. I don't yeah. believe that when people go to fuck somebody and decide whether they want another, nut in it, they trying to figure out whether or not the baby is going to come out right. That's not. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know if that, but girls definitely do that. Definitely. I don't, I don't know a guy trying to figure it out. No. As far as trying to determine who he want to have a kid with. Like, yeah. No, I don't know. No. Niggas don't want to have, niggas don't plan on having kids. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, <laughs> I think that I think that your homie is capping. I think that he's just trying to make an excuse, and he don't have to make an excuse. He should just that's possible. Hey, but who going to my But I hey, think that's that possible. He is making an excuse as to who it is that he want to talk to because he's trying to validate. Maybe to you, I don't know who he's trying to yeah, validate. I don't know. No, so. But if you got a preference, listen. If you if you like milk and magnesia, you drink that milk, and don't let nobody stop you. Yeah. Now I do. I'm hey, telling listen, you, I, I do don't see. That shit. I do see darker guys walking down the street, but but they don't just listen. They don't just go for the other. They go for. They the, go for all of them. No, they go for the big other. Like they go for the big girls, and I don't understand that shit. Like I don't. I don't, I don't know why. That's the thing that I'm trying to understand. Why do because white men don't have a in a general sense, not all because you can never throw any no, nobody's a monolith, but in a general sense, white men don't have a preference for big white women. Now, black men have a preference or they always get with a bigger white woman. I don't understand that part of it. Oh, shit. But if you like milk and magnesia, go with milk and magnesia. Bigger white, I see. I see mostly broke men with bigger white women. Like, <laughs> That's what I was like, gonna say. That's like God, like get that guys that you know they trying to get it together. They may need a place to stay. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Those are the type of guys that I see so, mostly with <laughs> larger white women. Not all. Thank never you. All. Thank Not you. Never like all. The same thing with like, but but, but yeah. most of the time, yeah. I think. Hey, that's a, hey, that's a good business. Like when you see with, white whether with white men, it's usually like the black aesthetic on a white man. It's not like, you know, the white collar usual. Yeah, and if it's like one of them white collar usual white guys, he got like one of them black girls that don't know how to do her hair and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, nigga, you own the night, nigga. You got a hundred points tonight. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. You got a hundred no, points, dog. Oh, shit. But I mean, do white women tend to treat black guys better? Huh. I, I don't I listen. I, I don't think white it. women just. I think white women treat their man better in general. In a sense, where we coming from? No, I think, no, I think no, 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 no. I don't. I disagree with you. I and think the white down. white women treat white men like trash. Okay. I can white see women, listen, they women got out of control first. They had the forefront of the feminist movement. White women have always treated white men like trash. Black women treat white men like gods. Black men treat white women like gods. White women treat black men like the kings of the earth. Where are these bitches at? <laughs> Sir, I'm, Jay Wilden treats you like, like a king. Like <laughs> Why are you dating white women? I, I, I have. How, how did that go for you, sir? Uh, went just the way it went with the black chick. It, it didn't last. Oh, so she's crazy. So it might be me. 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Them older white women, them older white women be loving black dudes though. Like, they be picking us out too. And and they, I'm talking because about. I was leaving a this, I was leaving this restaurant. I was leaving this restaurant. and I seen this older white woman peek out the window. I had to go back in and got her number. She was with her <laughs> mom and her sister. She, she like 53. This nigga crazy. <laughs> I promise. You said, you I promise, 53? bro. Yeah, she's 53. Listen, 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 listen. People, people within you their own race. Ladies. People within their own race from a relationship perspective. I don't know if it's because they feel like they're entitled um, or it's an expectation, a built-in expectation, because and maybe that's part of the problem. Because a lot of times people people believe that you know you should talk to this type of person or you should you should stay uh, loyal based off a of race or something like that. So maybe that then changes the expectations. But black women treat black men like trash. So so right. you saying so Anton, you telling me, man, right now as a single black man, I don't need to be going after no black woman. No, I, I don't think woman. that I don't think that anybody is a monolith, right? Okay. So I think that All you right. can find um somebody that will treat you better. Now I will say that it's a strong possibility that the person that's gonna treat you the best is gonna be a single baby mama because she already done fucked up her life and so she's trying to get somebody to be able to save her. So you know the context matters. But my point is is that <laughs> thank you dog. I mean thanks for the boost. You know I'm just gonna I'm tell you the truth. Like now now again that's the additional that's context. The when she started to age out her yeah. preferences is gonna change because you know what I'm saying? Her ability to secure what she want is going to be much, much different. However, in a general sense, black women treat black men like garbage. Hmm. And white women treat white men like garbage. And black white men are having the same problems with their women as black men are having with their women. As a matter of fact, I think it might be a little bit worse. Ladies, are y'all single? Everybody single on the panel? No. You got a black guy? White guy? Black. He's black. Y'all treat him like shit. <laughs> <laughs> they, ab they absolutely treat him like shit. And they may not treat him like shit like they may not treat him like shit like like dogging him, but yeah. the respect level is the same. Let me there tell you ain't no way about. Cam treat her do like shit. Listen, I don't I can't speak to anybody individually. I'm not doing that. But what I will say is y'all treat y'all bosses better than you treat y'all husbands. Oh, oh man. hey, dude. Hey, man. Y'all you you treat y'all boss. Y'all have more respect for your for the for your superior at work than you have for the person that's in your crib. Y'all, y'all, y'all come around me. Nah, I say it. Nah, go ahead. They say, say they treat you better than they treat their man. Absolutely, man. man that's what you're gonna say. Yeah, like that. One hundred percent. Be like that. One hundred percent. Yeah, ladies. One hundred percent. Listen, and I'll do you one better in front of your fucking man. Oh, that's a fact. Yeah, and you know it's true. Mm -hmm. You know it's true. Damn, ladies. Y'all treat y'all treat the nigga that y'all pedestalize, the one that you ain't got, better than the dude that you with, and he hey, knows right. it too. I'm and putting that application the on the white girl bro. when you come around. And guess what? It ain't nothing that you're gonna do different. Hey man, the white girls got applications, bro. <laughs> that's why you just that's why you just gotta, you know, stay stay on your purpose, man. I think the, the difference in treatment comes from going through different situations. Like you go through these things with your man, he disappoints you, you know, you do what you do to him, all these things happen, you know, he scars you, he hurts you emotionally, and all these things, and that comes out in your behavior. Whereas this random man off the street has done nothing to you. So you don't have a reason to mm. feel any kind of way about him. Sure. That just means the respect that just means the respect level has, has went down and it's probably time for him to exit that relationship. To be honest. Why not just rebuild it? Well, no, you I, can't do I, that. Once the respect level is gone in a relationship from from the woman's side, it's it's pretty much over. You know what I'm saying? It's, you can't rebuild it. It's gonna take too long, you gotta do too much, you can't you can't rebuild it. By that time, by you trying to rebuild it, she didn't. She building respect. Listen, she listen, gaining listen. respect with somebody I, I, else. I, 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 listen, but I don't. I, go ahead, Cam. Go ahead, Cam. Sorry, um, I was just gonna say I don't want to make it seem like 
going through like struggles and things like that is like a norm of a relationship. Like not in the sense of like, that's why we are not having like the same level of respect. Um, I just think, like, I, would, I wouldn't say I respect my boss more than my husband. I think it's, it, it's not, it's definitely not more respect on the boss. I just. Then what is it? You can't. What is it? Keep I think it's just. Hold on, I, hold on, hold on. Back up, Cam. I would just call it professionalism. Like, I back mean, up, just, Cam. Don't speak to your personal situation. Okay. Speak to the general, right? Because I don't want to. I don't want people to overshare or do any of that, right? This ain't personal to nobody. But right. speak, speak in general. Do you think that women, in a general sense, or black, let's say black women in particular, do you think that they treat? their boss or other men with a better, greater level of respect in a general sense than they treat the guy that they, that, that they go home to. Yes. 